Hey guys, my name is Trish Thompson from Quincy. I got here out right of my mother's garage, it's whatever. I don't know, this neighborhood used to be like all hookers and pimps and drug dealers and now it's fucking like straight bachelorettes, whatever. Come on, follow me this way and you'll see all the mysteries that are to behold, so to speak. One of the best, most exotic features of this particular cabaret is that no glasses, honey. No broken dreams and jocks. We get Dixie cups. This is a blast. Are you rolling right now? This is a fucking blast. So we got two urinals with like ice buckets in them. I think when they run out of ice, they just come in here. You take your cup, they give you a cup, whatever you want. Something comfort, whiskey, whatever. You just fucking put it in the trunk. Maybe there's a little urine in there, maybe not. It's all the fuel for the excitement of Jacques Cabaret. I don't know, like, I mean, I didn't go to college, but I'm pretty sure, like, nobody's got fire hot urine streaming out of their dick that they need ice cubes in the inner girl. I don't know. It's just, well, whatever. Let's go see the backstage. You're gonna love it. All right, here's the deal. We're in the backstage. It's kind of like, you know, back in the day, like in the 1800s, when they used to put people in those small sweaty boxes in the sunlight to punish them. It's kind of what we got going on here, except it's a little more dirtier. You can see a lot of this, a lot of trash on the floor. We got a, a nice loose rug. Who would you love a nice loose rug? You don't want to be too comfortable. You got to keep yourself, you know, on your toes. I love looking for change here during, during numbers. If I get bored, which, like, honestly, like, I hardly ever get bored, because life is like, Life is kind of like so many wonderful, exciting moments. You just gotta like learn how to, it's like you gotta learn how to look through exciting glasses so you can see them. You know, you get those glasses. So, uh, you know, my cousin Denise is on my case all the time for cleaning up after my cut hair right on my mother's garage. It's whatever, like I do it like three times a week. But, you know, she's always on my case for being like, untidy or whatever. You know, I look for spare parts. I'm like working on a craft project. I like to stay busy, whatever. You know, I'm in a halfway house right now. 14 days cleaning this over by the grace of God. I'm still smoking pot, but whatever. This is uh, where all the magic happens, so to speak. We got a gorgeous display of flowers and uh, butterflies for spring. And it's, uh, you know, they're like, they're fake bushes. It's pretty much what's going on here. Hey, um, I don't know what you're doing after this shooting, but you know, my mother, she's not gonna be home for like two or three hours. And I don't know. You wanna go like play checkers or something? Life is tough, but you know, working at this dump, you know, pay some of the bills. Like half half my electric bill, mostly. But uh, you know, it's better than hooking and shooting dope. Well, I mean, hooking's fun. And it's like, you know, like, technically, I don't think like Jesus would have a problem with hooking because it's a very like, self-sufficient entrepreneurial enterprise, if you know what I'm saying. All right. Oh, shit. My cousin Denise asks me all the time, like, Trish, like, what are your fucking dreams? Like, what are your goals? Do you, like, what are your aspirations? I'm like, Denise, I want to just win the biggest, fattest, juiciest lottery there is and buy 14 motorcycles, sell them off for like three times the value, because like I know a guy who did fix me, it's like the fixes them up really good, but like, you got know, like a nice fit body, and I mean I haven't, you know, it's all, it's pretty much all dried up down there, so like nothing can really do. I probably dropped a roll of quarters on the floor at a bank, and they scattered everywhere, but you know, I was like in a rush. I was trying to catch the number one out of the deli and I didn't have enough time to pick him up. And on the other hand, I didn't have enough money to catch the bus. So it's like a catch 22, you know what I mean? It's like. Uh, or these things, they just, they're too hard to wrap your head around. You gotta just like, easy does it, one day at a time. You know, I'm still smoking a little pot, but it's. Progress, not perfection. Let's get out of this fucking bathroom and I'll show you how Trish gets down.